Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sew It Yourself. For today's project, I am going to share you how to cut and stretch this beautiful fish cut and skirt for saris. Now, without any further delay, let's get into the video. For that, I have taken a 2 meter plain rayon fabric and I am going to share you how to do markings in it. To begin with, just open the fabric and fold it lengthwise. Here you can see I have folded this fabric by lengthwise. Now I am going to fold it widthwise. These are four layers on open side, and the other side is folded side. So from this point, mark off inch. And then draw a straight line to trim the raw edges. Firstly, I am going to mark the length of the skirt. So in my measurement, length of my skirt is 33.5 inch. So place the measuring tape exactly here and mark 33.5 inch. Now we extend these points. After this, from this point mark 1 inch down for folding at the bottom and also extend these points. Now I am going to mark my hip measurement. In my measurement hip is 40 inch divided by 4 is 10 inch. So I am going to mark 10 inch from the folded side. And also I am going to leave some 2 inch seam allowance. So mark 2 inch. Totally I have marked 12 inch. So if you need a perfect shape then you can mark 1 inch also for seam allowance. Here I want little bit loose so I marked a 2 inch for seam allowance. Now extend this point till the bottom. Again from here mark 17.5 inch. So extend this point. You can mark half of your skirt measurement. This is the knee point. You can also measure from your hip till your knee point. Then you can mark here. After this again from here mark 14.5 inch. And also extend this point. If your hip size is 40 inch or more than that you have to choose 9 inch otherwise if it is less than 40 inch it is between 8 to 9 inch. So mark here. Then after this from this point mark 1.5 inch inwards. Then again from here mark half inch inwards. At the bottom of the skirt. I am going to mark some 5 to 6 inch. So from this point mark 5 inch. Then join this till here. And now from here mark 1 or 2 inch above and then draw a slight curve exactly like this. And also join these points. We are going to cut this. So from this point I am going to mark 4.5 inch. I am marking for the dot measurement. So from here mark 4 inch down and draw a straight line. Now make this point as a center and mark half inch on both the sides and then join this here. 
this is for stitching the dots so what I'm going to do is from here to here I have marked 12 inch then from here to here mark half inch inwards leave some half inch down and then mark it after this I have marked 14.5 inch here then 17.5 inch down and total length is 33.5 inch and here I have marked 5 inch above and then from here to here one and a half inch then join these points and starting from here I am going to cut it Now make small notches here so that the other side also it is easier for you to make a dot. Now open this fabric and slit here. Now I am going to show you how to cut the belt. I have taken some leftover fabric. So here you can see this is the open side and I have taken two layers. This is the folded side. So from this point I am going to mark 21 inch. So what you have to do is stitch all your dot points and then measure your width of the skirt and then mark belt according to that. So I have taken one inch extra because I have to fold both the edges of the belt twice and I have to make a stitch. So from this point I am going to mark 4 inch which is the length of my belt. Now I am going to cut this. Now you have already make a notches right. So here we have to fold it and make a stitch. Similar to this where we have marked notches there we have to mark the dot point exactly how we have marked already. Like that you have to mark for both front and the back portion of the skirt. So what I am going to do is just fold it exactly like this and make a stitch for all the dot points. Here I am showing only for the front portion. Just fold it and exactly stitch like this. You can see here I have already finished stitching for one side and for the other side also just hold it exactly and make a stitch exactly like this. Similarly finish the other side also you can see here I have finished all the sides Now we are going to attach the side of the inskirt So starting from here stitch till this point after attaching one of the side you have to fold this bottom twice and make a stitch at the inner edge of the fabric After attaching one of the side, you have to fold the bottom twice and make a stitch. I finished attaching. Now I have taken the other side of the skirt. This is the open side. So from this point mark 3.5 inch down and then fold this twice to the wrong side of the fabric and start making a stitch.
up to this point you have to make a stitch similar to this you have to finish the other side also so the other side also I'm doing the same just fold it and make a stitch I finished attaching after this I have taken a belt you have to fold this twice and make a stretch at the inner edge similarly repeat the same for the other side of the belt also now I am placing the belt under the skirt exactly like this and making a stretch at the wrong side of the fabric So after attaching this, you have to fold it exactly like this and make a stretch. The edges of my belt is a sandwich edge, so I am not folding it. Otherwise, you have to fold and make a stretch here. And that's it. Here you can see I have finished attaching. So from this point I am going to mark exactly up to this point. That is from the bottom I am marking some 10 inch above for the slit portion. So starting from here I am going to make a stretch till this point. After attaching the sides you have to finish the slit portion by folding it twice and make a stretch at the inner edge of the fabric. Leave 4 inch from the top of the skirt and then start making a stitch exactly like this till the slit portion. So after this you have to fold the slit portion twice and then make a stretch at the wrong side of the fabric. This is similar to how we will attach the kurti or a kameez. Like that you have to make a stretch. And that's it. Now I am making a rope. So just fold the rope all the sides. And then start sewing at one of the edge. That's it. Here you can see I have finished attaching the sides and also the slit portion. Now I am going to insert the rope with the skirt. This is so simple to make. With this my stitching is complete. I hope you like this video. If you like it then do like, share, subscribe and comment. This is how it looks. Thanks for watching.